Hi everyone, I am S. Ramachandran. I joined Fiji in class 7th, 7th by writing Big Bang in class 6th. So when I joined in 7th, I felt like a lot of my friends knew a lot more than me. So that was when I realized that school doesn't teach everything that we, know, we need to know. So my journey in 7th and 8th was basically a step for joining my integrated in class 9. So when I joined in class 9, the major exam that we were talking about was NTSE and the NSCJS. NSCJS I gave it a try but considering that was my first exam conducted by the government, I did not qualify it but it was a good experience for me. When In class 10th when I joined it was the pandemic season. I tried to concentrate on the classes but it went on with ups and downs. In NTSE when I, when I wrote NTSE, I wasn't confident in social and biology because they were my weak subjects and social was uh, mainly from state board and as me as a CB, uh, CBSE student I felt it was tough and when the NTSC results came out it was a bit shocking for me I, I think I couldn't clear the cutoff mark by three marks or three marks but I didn't let that take pull me down so when I joined in class 11 the coaching was given for JE mainly 11th and 12th so when I joined in 11th the first exam that we concentrated was KVP and the Second exam was JE. For KVP again we had the same bio that I didn't like much. So I didn't want to concentrate more, more on KVP and lose my uh, concentration on JE. So I just wrote KVP as a mock exam. As a mock exam. So when, when I came to know that I cleared KVP it was a big shock for me because I didn't expect to clear KVP with no preparation. But I cleared it with a rank of 596 and in 11th I also cleared first level of uh, Max Olympiad which was, I wrote it as a practice for me, but it uh, first level I uh, cleared it. Second, le second level I wasn't able to clear because it was too, uh, too much of a high concept level or something. So then my full concentration went on for JE and preparation for JE was my main uh, motive. Usually uh, my schedule would be like uh, wake up in the morning, go to classes and come home and study. And every week we will usually have one test for which we have to, for which sir would have already completed the concepts. We'll have chap test and face tests, which were helpful to test what I have learned in the past days. Usually in face tests or chap tests, I don't get the top marks or I don't top usually, I'll be in the top 10 or something. But those weren't a big disappointment for me. I after every exam we had enough time to do the test analysis and that was a very that was very helpful for me to make sure that I don't do them again. Our concepts were split into seven phases and these seven phases were split in such a way that each phase had either one subject as a strong subject like all chapters weren't, weren't dumped, all good chapters weren't dumped in one phase so that we don't get pressurized. So the phases were split very good like four phases in class 11 and three phases in class. So after each phase we had a phase test uh, in which my performance wasn't that bad but I had to improve a, lo uh, a lot more. This is what my class 11 and 12 went like. After the after class 12 uh, got finished, uh, revision time had started and in revision we had a bunch of tests where we, we revised the concepts again, we revised each chapter st chapters again. After revising each chapter we had two, two, two exams from e for each chapter. That was really helpful for me to go through again my weak chapters and uh, remove the weakness from them. After the revision was over, we had LA, we had full test which from which I learned how to write exam properly, uh, properly and effectively to increase my overall marks. Subject wise marks doesn't matter when you're going to write a full test. Overall marks is what it matters and through the full test I learned how to effectively improve my uh, overall marks. Like if if some subject is going to be tough, it's fine to leave it and go on with the next subject so that my overall marks are going to increase. So we had a bunch of uh, full tests which helped me to practice to write an exam in the exam mode. We wrote all the uh, exams in our center where we had invigilator and every exam felt like a actual exam mode. So after that, I uh, in JE mains when I f attempted for the first time, we had less time to prepare because JE mains first session was a sudden notice for us. We weren't aware that it's going to come on January, but with the 
limited amount of time i had, i had prepared for jee uh, mains for first attempt and i was able to score a percentile of 99.96 in first attempt but sec uh, i thought that was enough and i started preparing for jee advance and i didn't concentrate for jee mains level 2 uh, jee mains session 2 but unexpectedly jee mains session 2 results are better than jee mains session 1 so i would just take it for granted and when i my after the jee mains session 1 my preparation was fully for jee advance when i like two weeks before j j advance we had some one to one sessions with sirs and sirs came to our class and gave motivational speeches to motivate ourselves uh, i think that was that really helped me to keep be motivated and stay calm for for the j advance exam i remember our chemistry sir keeping extra classes in the evening after after our usual after regular classes we had extra classes in the evening max sir gave us some assignments for practicing and physics sir always after class Any, anyone can go and ask doubt or physics sir, and he'll be waiting outside the class when i went for j advance exam I, i was my mindset was ready to take up the big exam like i was ready for the exam i was prepared fully when i wanted to not panic in exam that was the main motive in exam i, I didn't want to panic if i'm going to panic my performance is going to go low uh, i think i kept that in my mind and it went well my j advance also went well i didn't panic paper was a bit lengthy but i didn't panic about that uh, my one advice to my juniors would be like stick to the portions till your olympiads get completed it's but it's fine if you are going to go a bit out of portion and learn but after once your once your olympiads are done please stick to your notes stick to the books that sir give you and study what sir what your sirs will recommend you it's i won't recommend you going doing uh, other unwanted or extra stuff like pathfinder for physics that and all is not needed for j advance it's fine if you do uh, your packages that your school that your sirs that fiji will provide you and archive for practice and if you want to practice any question ask your sir first and then if if your sir recommends you that book if you, uh, it's you can you can go for that book so just stick to your syllabus so whenever i write any exam i would say me ma- i would come home and say me marks to my parents and if i get good marks they would encourage me and they would let me not be over confident and if i'm going to get a good, uh, low mark they would support me and motivate me to get even better marks uh, even when i didn't qualify for ntc their reaction were was like it's fine it's fine just one exam next exam you can do well uh, you will do better and they motivated me for my upcoming studies and they don't pressurize me if even if i get low marks they are fine with any mark and if i'm going to get good marks they just make sure that i don't become over confident or something like that and if i get a low mark they'll just uh, support me and motivate me i will i will just li- like to thank all my faculties for helping me throughout the throughout the journey like they were really helpful whenever i wanted whenever i wanted to ask any doubts they don't hesitate to answer them uh, i would like to thank my parents and my academic co- coordinators and other staff over there behind me Thank you.